hello everyone today we are going to work on this venus material so as venus is actually uh, venus has a hot surface and a very turbulent atmosphere uh, with a lot of storms so that's what i have tried to implement here so as you can see uh, the surface is actually still it doesn't move but this cloud layer it has some turbulence some of them are moving up some of them are down some of them are left right so i have implemented turbulence here so let's see how to do this within a single material today Right, so just like in previous Planet 2 materials I worked on, I'm going to download the textures from this solarsystemscope.com uh, and here we have two textures for Venus, Venus surface and Venus atmosphere. So this is the surface material texture and this is the atmosphere texture and I have already imported them both here so let's create a material using this surface texture and Venus and assign it here so as you can see it's pretty dark let me open it and we need to have both cloud texture and this surface texture so I am going to copy some of the stuff that I have already worked on in uh, from other materials I think we can copy from Earth or this part where we get this edge uh emission and also one more thing uh yeah let me just copy this so uh i'm not going to explain what i have done here because i have already done so in the earth material when i was working on earth material copy and paste this should go into emission this is not needed just to multiply this output with the result of the dot product now you get this nice shine across the edge and also let's promote these two parameters metallic could be the one specular oh wait no actually this uh, should be unlit oh oh no not really doesn't have to be unlit specular to roughness point eight okay uh, now this is just the surface but we need to have the turbulent cloud layer as well so for that let's drag and drop this texture and 
across earth we don't need it anymore mm. sorry let's move this stuff down So how do we add the cloud layer? Mm, one way would be at uh, real hot point here in the middle let's do a lot. that means a linear interpolate between this surface texture and this cloud layer so uh, but now this value is 0.5 so it's not really clear what's going on uh, therefore to make it a bit clearer let's use a moment uh, uh, using panner and text for the speed let's see something like 0 to we don't really see the moment here. See, now we do have the moment. Let's move into this side. Now let's remake this to the other side. Right, now you can see some moment on the surface, but that's not enough. Also, it would be better if we have some, if we have a thicker cloud layer at some points and a lower and some, a more transparent cloud layer in some areas. So for that, uh, let's import, let's add some noise texture here. Let me just duplicate this texture sample and type noise maybe this one will work dilate noise and i'll use this as the alpha layer and see what happens so now you can see in some points we can see the clouds better at some points we can see the surface but i don't think we need to see this much of surface so we need a clamp here in case we get higher values and then let's add some offset to this if I make it one all we would get would be this cloud layer so let's say like one six right I think that amount is good or maybe even 0.5 okay now this has only one moment into this direction so uh, let's add another moment mm. we don't forget this part the UV uh, what if I add let's make this positive Uh, 
now it looks better because we have moments in both directions some of them are more look like they are moving this way and some clouds looks like moving this way but it would be even better if we have some movement in the vertical direction as well so for that we can actually give some speed y but this would be a problem because we might see some seams i'm not sure yeah it's just one direction okay right also let's duplicate this same setup and instead of 0.5 wait let's do another addition here this one and here i'll change the speed to negative and apply now we do see some more turbulence um, right but it's too fast actually also maybe we should turn down this a bit now 0.3 because we barely see the surface before okay so yeah now we do get some real turbulence but it's too fast yeah. so we can simply slow it down Okay, so I read it the material um, and I set the values also as I remember and this is how it looks now and actually I like the way it looks ex except the speed so maybe we should slow down this a uh, bit First one. We slow down the vertical speed as well. Point one. <laughs> now it looks like it's only moving to this side. Let's try point one two. Uh, I think I think I'm, I'm happy with this now all right so here I am going to stop this episode so this is the final look 
of the material so actually if you don't pay attention to that you don't really see the movement of the surface but if you pay attention you can still see the movement see here you can see this cloud is now moving into this direction and this is also looks like going up some of them are moving to right left so yeah it's really look like a turbulence now see this is here also all right great and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode Goodbye.